Okay, trigonometric ratios. What you need to know is this phrase here, so katoa. Okay, that's your sine, your cosine, and your tangent. And an easy way to remember this is with the use of acronyms. Okay, here's an acronym I like to use. Some old hippie came hopping through our apartment. Okay, some old hippie came a hopping through our apartment. Okay, so you need to know this Sokotoa. Now, the other thing that you need to know is which side is your hypotenuse, which side is your opposite, and which side is your adjacent. Okay, an easy way to know your hypotenuse is that it's going to be the opposite of this 90 degree angle. Remember, these trigonometric ratios are for right angle triangles only, or right triangles. Okay, here's your 90 degree angle. The side opposite of your 90 degree angle is your hypotenuse. So here's your hypotenuse. Okay, same with number two. Here's your hypotenuse. Okay, it's opposite of the 90 degree angle. Okay, kind of putting a little square around these for you, color coded. Now, let's look at number one. What we're solving for is the tangent of A. Okay, here's A, tangent. We see from Sokotoa, tangent is going to be opposite divided by adjacent. Okay, opposite over adjacent. Okay, so here's your opposite. Okay, just like the hypotenuse is opposite of the 90 degree angle, whichever angle we're solving for, we're solving for A. Okay, the side opposite is the side that's not touching it. So that must mean that this is your adjacent side. Okay, so opposite over adjacent, we get 30 over 16. Number two, we're looking for the cosine of C. Here's angle C. Cosine we see is adjacent over hypotenuse. So here's your adjacent side. So adjacent over hypotenuse, that's going to be 12 over 15. Number three, sine of Z. Here's Z, sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So here's your opposite side. Opposite over hypotenuse gives us 12 over 20. Okay, number four, sine of C. Here's angle C. Sine, once again, is opposite over hypotenuse. So here is your opposite side. So we get, for sine of C, 30 over 50. Okay, number five, sine of C. Once again, here's angle C. Sine again is opposite over hypotenuse. Here's your opposite side. So we get 48 over 50. Sine of C is 48 over 50. Okay, number six, last one here. Once again, here's angle C. C uh, sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So here's your opposite, opposite side. So we get 14 over 50. All right, so let's solve this first one, this 30 over 16. We're going to use this Vedic math formula on the flag to do the division. So we have 30. Okay, we kind of write it like this. And divided by 16, so 6 is on the flag. So that means that you need to kind of move this decimal over. And at this point, that's where the decimal is going to be in the answer. So 1 goes into 3. We're going to say 1 goes into 3 once with two left over okay then 20 minus one times six 20 minus one times six that's 14. one goes into 14 eight times with six left over okay now 60 minus eight times six that's 48 60 minus 48 is 12. one goes into 12 seven times with five left over Okay, now 50 minus 7 times 6, that's 50 minus 42. 1 goes into 8, okay, 50 minus 42 is 8. 1 goes into 8, 5 times with 3 left over. Okay, now 30 minus 5 times 6, 30 minus 30 is 0, with 0 left over, so we know we're done. So we get our answer, 1.875. Okay, that's for our first problem, tangent of A.
1.875. Okay, number two, we have 12 over 15. Doing our on the flag division. So we have 12 divided by 15. Five's on the flag. Okay, so one number in the flag it means that we move our decimal over. This is where our decimal is going to be in the answer. So we're going to say one goes into one zero times with one left over. Okay, one goes into 12 eight times with four left over. Then 40 minus eight times five. 40 minus 40 is zero with zero left over. So we get our answer is 0.8. So that was for number two, that was cosine of C. We're saying that that equals 0.8. Okay, number three is 12 over 20. We don't need to use on the flag division. What we could do is we could kind of move these decimals. Remember that these are decimals, okay? We can move these decimals over once. So now we have 1.2 divided by 2. Okay, 1.2 divided by 2. So if I set this up like this, 1.2 divided by 2. Well, 2 goes into 1 zero times with 1 left over. 2 goes into 12 six times. So we get our answer here is 0.6. Okay, that was for number 3, the sine of z. So here goes sine z equals 0.6. Okay, so for number four, sine of c, we have 30 over 50. We're gonna use the Vedic math formula by mere observation. So we have 30 over 50, and that kind of works like this. We're saying that 50 equals 100 over two. So essentially what we have is 30 divided by 100 over two. So that's the same as saying 30 times two over 100. Okay, so we get 60 over 100. Easy to do now is just move this decimal over two places. So we get our answer is 0.6. Okay, and that was for this one over here, number four, 0.6. And number five, sine of C, we have 48 over 50. Here, once again, we're gonna use our formula by mere observation. So we're just gonna say 48 times two over 100. Okay, that's 96 over 100. That equals 0.96. Here's our answer, 0.96 for number five. And the last one, number six, sine of C is 14 over 50. Okay, once again, we could use our, our Vedic math formula by mere observation. So once again, the way that works is 50 is 100 over two. So we're gonna say that's 14 times two over 100. Remember when you're dividing by a fraction, you flip it, okay, and multiply. So this is going back to your basic fraction. So we have 28 over 100, okay? So to get our answer, it's gonna be 0.28. Okay, sine of C is 0.28. All right, you made it to the end of this video. I wanna thank you for watching. Please press the like button down below, leave a comment. And if you want to see more of these videos, simply subscribe to my channel for more. Thanks for watching.